Welcome back, everyone. We are in it again with the description of the random run. Looks like we pulled the ant deck. Uh, 13 challenges, you can see here. Uh, so we are going to see how we do. It's going to be a tough one, but I think... Yeah, at least we got insects. That helps. So if we can get a good insect totem up and running, that might help us a lot. Air pelts. What have we got here? Oh... I see. I don't want to do mantis and field mice. Wolf cub's not bad either. Oh, okay. Campfire or sigil transfer. So supposedly, like the wolf cub, I thought about because if you put the uh, fledgling on a mantis, he doesn't become an elder mantis. He becomes mantis god. And I think that's a little touch but we're gonna do the campfire health yes health please mantis needs health and unfortunately with an annoying sigil on the skunk is more or less just a blocker unless he's in front of a flyer in which case then he's the worst blocker to ever exist Plan out here. Ooh, another flyer with flying block. That's okay, because that means our flying ant can kill him, but he. Oh, wait. So our flying ant's gonna make their flying ant stronger, so they're gonna deal two to us. But field mice is gonna save us here. block. Oh, he's going to block our flying ant. Ooh, this is going to make it a little bit tougher for us. Yeah, they definitely got us on the ropes a little bit here, but now we can get our other field mice out. That's, yeah, field mice are nice because it's two, two, twos for two blood. Twice. If that makes any sense. Oh, the Mantis. Oh, what? No. Field mice do just as well. And there we go. But I guess if I had played the mantis, we would have had to go another round. We could have gotten more teeth out of the deal. That's all right. Skink, bloodhound, or rat king. I'm going to do rat king. Let's see. All right, scissors are good, and bleach is good. That's right, we can't boost flying ants' power at, at a bonfire. We can only increase their health and make it tougher. So otherwise, yeah, we can bleach and then fly, fly our way to victory, but unfortunately, no. We have to deal with these guys are moving about. Oh, but they're going to be switching places with each other. Our ants going to be a problem for us. Pretty much anything with the annoying sigil is going to be a major problem for us. Oh no. That worker ant's gonna come and destroy our field mice. Can we do anything to prevent such an untimely death? Those guys are gonna deal three and we're gonna lose. Really? I got to I have to use these up. We need to block that ant. We need to make sure we live, because we only have one candle. It's going to be very, very important. See? Has he played all of his cards already? I know we have... Oh, we only have one of the extra challenge cards. That's why. 
So he did already has extra an extra wave, but only one, not two waves of extra cards. Really want to get a good insect totem up and running though. I have a feeling that's going to be our saving grace in this. Oh no, only five teeth. Oh good, a bonfire. That's going to help us too. My insect head. Yes. Uh oh, double bonfires. I mean, it's in double transfers. That means boss fights coming up. All right, E-blocker. Just can take care of that. At pull. Gunk's not really going to do us any favors whatsoever. We're going to be relying on Mantis here. Ah, there we go. Ant Queen. That's gonna help us out. There we go. We got a turn to do three damage. Actually, we're gonna do more damage. Because we are gonna have a whole army of ants. Wait. Oh, that's right. Ant Queen creates a normal ant. I was like, didn't he have a flying ant? We only have the two. I'm just kind of... In Casey's mod, ants just... I know they're still usable, but they just feel to me like a little bit of a liability at times. So I just... I don't know. I, I want something that's a little bit more consistent. I'd rather have one or two attackers rather than having to fill the board with all ants. Alright, health. We want health wise. Or do we want to try and burn? Alright, well, Skunk though at least can act as a solid blocker. Really need offense though. Health? Okay. I might as well slap it on Alpha. Well, think of it though. Skunk can survive one bear attack. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. Let's see. We would need to get. Oh, we don't have to bleach anymore. We're going to need to get all three ants on the board, I'm guessing. Kingfisher. We, there's nothing we can do about Kingfisher anyway. They're just going to be moving back and forth all over the board. Oh, no. The hook. Forgot about the fish hook. have to sacrifice a squirrel for this. It's like these boss fights are challenging enough. They really don't need these extra layers of complexity to make us have a bad day. Even though with the aqua squirrel over there it actually makes our job significantly easier. I wish we had an adder or something. Alright, so I can do three damage against the bears. Then we're in trouble. And we're not going to have any blockers. And uh, it's going to be a short run. That's for sure. Bears. Alright, I'll be draw. Uh... Doesn't, it doesn't matter. I can't. I would have to do. 
All right. So that's eight damage there. So I have to do at least four damage. I'll do three damage. I need four to survive. Let's see how we do. That's a lot of strong, angry bears. And we, our flame was snuffed out quick. All right. Not a whole lot we could do. Thankfully, though, we'll... Ugh, we're not going to... New run. Random. At least if something was short like that, I don't feel bad about doing a second run. 11 challenges. Okay. Not doing one... Five, six, or seven. Hey, boss fights are not going to be... No totem. Oh, and we get the fish hook. All right. That's putting a smile back on my face. And that smile is immediately faded to a horrified scream of pain and suffering. Exquisite pelts? You're right, I have exquisite pelts. Oh boy. Alright, we're gonna need Dire Wolf and Magpie. We're gonna need. Part of me wants to put Magpie on a curious egg just so I get it a little cheaper, but then we lose out on the offensive potential. Oh, health, not health. Well, health. No, I can't risk losing the dire wolf. I need him. But hey, though, if the next bonfire we get to is also a health one, then he'll have nine health and he'll be able to survive two bear attacks, which is probably more than he's going to need to survive anyway. Magpie, I really don't need you. I am actually would be better off taking a hit here. I can get these squirrels. I know I can't play. There we go. Now I don't have to worry about him playing an adder. Or some kind of blocker. Yeah. And? Magpie! Well, we're gonna do five damage. We don't. We don't need to block her. This thing is like, do we need to block the otter? I have a feeling I should be kind of verbalizing my thought process a little bit more. All right, I'm still want. Mm, I would love to get a black goat or a cockroach, ideally both. Not a ringworm, although. Health. Okay. Decision time. Do I make the dire wolf into nine health or do I try to burn the ringworm? I'm gonna try and burn the ringworm. Because at least he can survive one bear attack. That's okay. It's worth a risk. What do we have? Kingfishers again. What's with all the kingfishers? Him, so I get the eggs, so then I can get the magpie out, dire wolf, because those are my only two offensive cards. And we're going to survive long enough to actually use that. I hope. The next turn he's going to do three damage, so I need to do at least one damage. And now we even have a little bee to help us out. Alright. Bullfrog. We can take him out in one hit. That's good. We're okay with that. Um, Grease egg. Lock that otter. There we go. 
So let me go one more turn. And actually, we're going to have just enough health points to win this. But just be careful. Because you're really, with with all these challenges on, or just in general, even without any challenges on, you cannot assume that you're going to win. Um, things can go sideways on you really, really quickly. Honestly, my deck is so small, transferring, it's not... I'd actually probably be better off trying to get, see if I can get a good totem up and running. Wolf, wolf hits good. Um, oh, another totem up there. I'm wondering what's going to be the best skink. Okay. More in there. And the next turn we can bring out the Wolf. Now with Dire Wolf, do we want? Well, I guess it depends on what our options are. Corpse Eater, at least get him on the field. But he might not land in a spot where we need him. Unkillable is always useful, because then we can kind of. Throw him into danger if we need to. I, I have I completely forgot about the egg mechanic. Well, the direwolves. Well, we got bears. We gotta. We have to worry about that. Um, Survival is more important than hatching the eggs. I have one tooth. Hey, though. Even the lowly pelt can absorb one bear attack. And that's okay. What do you have here? Um, skink? Or the tail? That's not terrible. Worst case scenario, we just leave the direwolf room to run and Okay, corpse eating. All right, now this is the situation I was wondering about. The odds, the thing is, though, odds are we're gonna need to get him onto the field in round one. So I'd be better off giving him. That's a free blocker. The problem is, so he'll he'll attack, weaken a bear, move. Take a hit, weaken another bear, and I don't have anybody else strong enough to actually fight a bear. So this will be interesting. Uh, I don't need to waste my arm. Gina, look. Yeah, I didn't think this through. How about. Alright, ring room, we're gonna place here. Curious egg. Here. That was a little too close, but now. For a magpie down, we can get our dire wolf. And our magpie can now do two, so we're doing two to his one. That's still not enough. Still in big trouble. Hate throwing away squirrels that I desperately need. I wanna... Oh good, it's going after the ringworm. Do I want that though? I want the ringworm there as a defender. Magpie did his job. Not enough. Oh. That's a squirrel. I. Let's see how this goes.
I was hoping to use that on a bear. Well, yeah, we gotta do it. I don't know. If this, if this fails, I will try again because. Oh no, the direwolf needed to be here to block the attack. We're gonna take a hit. Oh, this is not good. Alright, let's just see what this mess is. No, this is. Like, what am I gonna draw? A pelt? That's gonna do me nothing. Since the kingfishers can swim, that makes this exceptionally more difficult. That needs to go here. Kingfisher. Alright, now he's got the hook. The curious egg there. That put me in a world of hurt. But now, what I can do is I can play the magpie here, get the direwolf. So the strategy is that having an annoying on the curious egg is actually helping us here. Do I risk the ringworm? Yes. But we're gonna be do and we'll be doing six. Okay, nope, this is this will put us in a much better position. Yes, I know. Hook. It's okay, because you're not going to play it on us. I'm gonna have not enough defenders to do this as I need to. But we'll see. Okay. Grizzly. So, well, Direwolf will weaken him down. That does me no good. But. Attack. He'll dodge. He'll take the hit. I need to. Steal this bear. And now I won't take any damage. He'll. Steal him four. Now I wish I had pliers. Bear snapper. That's not good. Alright. Um, think here, think, think, think. Direwolf. Actually, the totem screwed us up. Because he could have taken the hit, taken Grizzly, done two, and then we would have won. So the totem, the totem messed us up. The totem can be circumvented, though. And, man, this, I, this is, <laughs> I know this can be done. I know we can do this. It's just, you gotta figure out the puzzle here. Oh, wrong button. We can do this. It actually doesn't... I put the ringworm there. I wonder if that's gonna help me. Yes, that will help me. I need is to get you here. Because next, then, I think he'll go after the ringworm, which is okay. Because. Because we can still make this. Just need to grab it. I think we'll just need to grab a different bear. And this is also going to stop him from attacking, so it's going to give us 
a little bit more breathing room here. Or not. Actually, you know what? Put it there. And this will still work. Because what we just need to do is we need to block the dire wolf so he can't run. He's got to stand firm and take the hit. We need you. We need you. There is hope for us. Now dire wolf goes in. Blast you damage. Victory. Let's see. Grizzlies are very, very intimidating, and rightly so. But they can be defeated if you have luck and reset on your side. Elk or Ant Queen? I'm going to go with the Elk, I guess. Uh, maybe I should have gone with the Rat King. If I can get bones. Actually, I need a minor... I need a discard so I can get that free bone to start with. There's a transfer coming up regardless. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we can get a card we can actually use. No. E hype. Because why not? Likewise, and... Activate. Actually, the wires actually might have been more useful. Alas, let's just make do with what we got. And Ravens are 2 3. That's just so strong for him to get those out into the field right away. And why did I draw a squirrel? Oh boy. Um, yeah, so. But hey, we made it to map two, and I marked that as a booming success for us. Unless. Oh, magpie. All right. Here we go. And throw this down. Ah. Yeah. There's no. Yeah, we were having trouble. All right, though, we made it to map two. I count that as a grizzly challenge, a grizzly, you know, with these three challenges, the aqua, the grizzly, and the annoying sigil, I mark that as a win in my book. So thank you all for joining me. I'll catch you later in another episode.